Hello and welcome to another review by Taprun.com. Today, as always, we'll be looking at a website and seeing how the website pitches the product or service being sold. And as usual, we will not be looking at the design of the website so much as the message behind it. Does the website sell the product effectively? Does it address the needs of the customers? Does it really get to the heart of the pain that is being solved? Today's volunteer is Surface Vouch. And unlike previous valuations, today we're not looking at a website that is selling a product at the moment. It is what's called a landing page. And what that means is that it's an attempt to demonstrate what will be sold in the future. Now, why would a company want to do this? Well, the basic reason is risk reduction. In the old system of small businesses, a small business would invest some money into an idea, build a product or prepare a service, and then start selling it. And what people have realized is that's a very risky proposition. You might wind up spending a lot of money and finding out not too many people are interested in buying what you have to sell. As a result, we have this idea of launching before the product or service is ready to be sold. And this way we can gauge how much interest there is before we have been even invested a dime. Okay, so what is Service Batch? We've covered what a landing page is. What is Service Batch? Service Vouch, when I look at the name, frankly, I'm not so sure. But a little lower, there's a tagline that really starts cluing me in. Find individuals, not businesses. Now, at this point, I have to admit, I'm still not exactly sure what's being sold. In my mind, I'm thinking perhaps it's a new version of the white pages. For those of you who are not in the know, phone books used to have two sections, the white pages, where one would look to find individuals, and the yellow pages, where businesses would be listed. In this case, I think I was quite clearly off the mark. The picture gives us another hint, and again, it's not quite enough for us to know exactly what's going on. But here we see people saying what their job titles are. This clues us in a little further, and if we were just to read a little bit more, the product being sold becomes a lot more clear. Here it is. Find individual service providers in your area by searching in categories like photographers, real estate agents, even tattoo artists. Now, this is a very interesting idea, but at this point, the website hasn't made the case as to why I would want to go to an individual tattoo artist versus a company which is more well known, perhaps, perhaps has higher standards, has been certified by the state, has insurance. There are a lot of reasons why people like to go with companies. And it's not clear in my mind yet why I'd rather go to an individual. My guess is the cost savings. And let's read on to see if they actually mention whether it's cost or something else as a reason why I'd like to use this service as opposed to looking up the information in the yellow pages or going with a company that I know. Each service provider is listed. Ooh, a little bit of a capitalization issue here, but not a big deal. Each service provider is listed will have their own page where you can see their information and vouchers. And again, a little capitalization issue. Well, I suppose this is turning out to be quite a bit like the white pages with a description of each person's information and vouchers. Okay. Vouch for your service provider. And again, some capitalization issues by leaving them a review and recommending them to others. Okay, so now what I see is something like Yelp for individuals, Yelp for individual providers. And I think putting that up front and saying, just like Yelp, but for individuals, really would have clued me in a lot faster as to what it is being offered. Scrolling down. Tell me more or keep me posted. 
Tell Me More just gets us to the next section. So let's scroll down. What is Service Vouch? Okay, here we have a description of what the product is. And it's a system, it looks like a web-based system based upon the picture, for finding information about individuals providing services. And again, we're not exactly sure why we want to go for individuals versus corporations. And I really wish they would just come out and say, because it's cheaper, or because you'll get better service, or because there's more flexibility in offerings. There are advantages, don't get me wrong, there are advantages to going with individuals, but it's up to the service vouch company to tell us what they are, to really ingrain in our heads what the advantages are of going with this service versus looking something up on Yelp. And here we see this vouch button, but really it's more of a rating button. And again, this is a minor thing, but it's important, I think, to be as descriptive as possible when producing a product which really is something that is at least somewhat new. And we have reviews. I think just from a general usability point of view, it would have been great not only to show the average rating here, but also the number of ratings and perhaps some more information about who is rating them, what the trends are. Are they getting better ratings now than before? Maybe there are a couple outliers. Can we remove some really high or really low ratings and get a median rating? But those are minor. Again, this is a landing page, so we're not too worried about all of these minor details. Okay, and as we scroll down, we get Keep Me Posted. Obviously, as with all landing pages, the product or service is not quite ready for prime time yet. And people can enter their information in here, their email address, and get notified when the product is ready to launch. This has the added benefit of allowing the company the ability to contact a large number of people all at once when they're ready to go. The company doesn't just know that there is demand, it knows exactly who is demanding this mm -hmm. service. And then of course we have the mandatory Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and mail buttons. Overall, this is an interesting product, but I have a couple comments. And the main one obviously is you should, at the very least, mention what the benefits are of using your product or service. Here, I suspect it's probably cost. Coming out and saying it, something like, save money, don't give it to corporations, give it to hardworking people. Then, if you do that, you're not only pointing out the fact that people are saving money, but that more is going to the provider of the services. It doesn't have to be rocket science, pretty simple. My main comment besides that is that this is a very, very difficult market to enter. This is a classic two-sided problem where not only do they have to get the interest of the sellers of services, the tattoo artists, the physical therapists, the trainers, what have you, but they have to get the interest of the people who are looking for services. And one won't come without the other. You won't be able to get individuals looking for services to start coming if there aren't a lot of providers. And you won't get a lot of providers to come if there aren't a lot of individuals looking to pay for services. I suspect that what they'll need to do is niche down very highly. And when I say very highly, I mean pick a small city, perhaps a college town, and pick a particular industry, perhaps weightlifting, something like that and really focus on that small industry in that small location so they can get enough people, a critical mass, and then build out from there, either going to other cities and using the exact same field, the field being getting pumped up, pumping iron, getting in better shape, or taking on additional services but staying within that individual area. That'll make their marketing a lot simpler 
they'll be able to focus their marketing efforts on an individual place in an individual area of interest, and it will get that necessary critical mass. There are a couple other obvious issues which may come up. Perhaps they already have the answers. One, there's an obvious incentive to cheat. When people put reviews up, people getting the good reviews, assuming they're good, will probably get more business, will probably be shown more prominently. So they'll have an incentive to get all their friends to evaluate them and to rate them. In fact, maybe they'll create multiple accounts and rate themselves. This will lead to, shall we say, not perfect rating systems in which perhaps the best people are not rated the highest because they're too honest. And the lower the trustworthiness of the ratings, the lower the quality of the service from the point of view of someone looking to hire someone else. Another possible issue is that it's going to be very hard to compare services across people. When a company comes up with a couple offerings, let's say T-Mobile, it's fairly easy to compare them because you can put the various options in a nice grid and just look for the lowest number. But in this case, when you're dealing with individuals, there could be a vast difference between the services that one person offers versus the services that another person offers in the same field. So if I have a very low budget, and my understanding is the people who use this as individuals looking for services are probably going to be shopping on price, it's going to be very difficult to find the cheapest or the, the few cheapest people who would meet my needs. One other issue is, is this concept of insurance. This is a system right for people to take advantage of the people doing the hiring. What happens if a mechanic is hired through the system and maybe uses cut rate parts or maybe doesn't do a good job? there's going to be a whole lot of litigation. And I've got to tell you, if an individual can't find the person who did the work or can't find someone who did the work who has lots of assets, they're probably going to start suing this company. It's only going to take one or two lawsuits to get this company into a lot of trouble. And again, law is probably well outside my bailiwick, but I'd be very nervous about that. Overall, this is an interesting idea. I just think that there are a couple issues that are going to make this very complicated to launch, and especially the idea that they're going to tackle so many different fields of service at the same time in so many different areas makes me think that they've bitten off more than they can chew. What I would strongly recommend, one, is to focus the message. Why would I, as an individual, want to pay for services on the system rather than going to a company? Two, figure out how they're going to deal with a two-sided problem. And three, think about the niche that they are going to attack first. I think if they can deal with those three things, and it doesn't have to be very complicated in the way they do it. It might just be as simple as, making a decision going with it, then they have a very interesting service, which I think might have some significant potential. So I look forward to seeing what Service Vouch is going to do, and I can't wait to see the results.